hello everyone uh, welcome back uh, before starting the video uh, let me introduce myself my name is satish and i am a consultant in an mnc and it is my uh, passion to share my knowledge uh, with audiences like you or whoever uh, is interested in uh, powershell scripting and automation so uh, this was all about me on us uh, now roll the interview and start uh, the video okay so in today's video i will be uh, discussing uh, about how to open an excel sheet which is already uh, there in your system and also how to uh, read the values uh, in a cell and how to write values in a cell so these are the things uh, i will be covering today okay so let's start so um, the first thing will be um, calling com object okay how we do that by using a cmd let called a uh, new object then this com object and then excel dot application okay now what is this why i am doing this well if you want to know uh, that why i am doing so then you can uh, go back to my uh, previous video where i have uh, discussed this thing in detail and uh, you can uh, see that uh, uh, link uh, or you can see the i button or you can press the i button which will uh, navigate you to the uh, on that lecture okay to the playlist which includes excel automation okay so uh, uh let us store this thing now variable okay now uh, let us make this com object uh, visible okay this is how we make it visible by doing this okay so i have discussed everything in my previous video so you can go back to my previous video then you will uh, find it um, useful this then you will find this video useful okay now um, let us uh, open our excel sheet which is already saved here so i have excel sheet here um, on on this uh, desktop so what i will be doing is i will be um, copying the uh, path of this file okay in a in a variable so let's uh, find out what is the uh, path of uh, this excel sheet so this is the path and this is the name okay so um, let us create a variable uh, file path and let us store everything sorry let us store everything here so the name of this is book 1 dot xls okay so uh, we have stored uh, the address of the um, the excel sheet now let us open it so how we are going to open it by using this uh, excel dot work books dot open and uh, we have to just um, use this variable here which we created earlier now now let's see what happens okay uh, let me uh, close this thing and uh, let's see what happens okay you can see that uh, this excel sheet is open now okay now let me store this thing uh, in a variable workbook so that we can use this thing uh, later on okay so this was uh, uh, opening the uh, already saved file excel file uh, in um, by using powershell okay now uh, let us uh, see that uh, how we can write any uh, anything in a cell okay so the first thing uh, is that what is a cell okay and if you want to write then what you should do means what we basically do so the 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 uh, uh, how we uh, write anything in a cell is basically you know um, 
when you have to write anything on a cell what you do you go to you open a particular uh, workbook then you uh, select a particular sheet like this which i have selected now you will uh, choose a cell to write okay so these are basically three things that is you open the workbook you select the worksheet inside the workbook and then you select the uh, cells okay and then you write anything on that so here we will be doing the same thing okay so how how uh, uh, can i select a particular worksheet so i have discussed that this thing uh, also in my previous video okay so you can go back to the previous video uh, i have created a playlist where you will be able to see everything okay so let's create a um, variable here workbook dot uh, sorry work sheets dot item i'm oh, sorry item 1 item 1 means uh, i have selected this one this uh, sheet okay so you can verify this also mm -hmm. uh, by using uh, a method called activate so it will highlight okay as you can see i have selected item 2 so this will highlight this sheet so you can observe so uh, um, you can uh, select a particular sheet here okay if you want to verify then you can uh, verify this right now it is it has selected item 1 uh, let us see what uh, which sheet is highlighted uh, if i uh, select item 2 as you can see that it is uh, sheet 2 okay so i'll be writing here in uh, sheet 1 so let's go back there and let me remove this activate method now okay now uh, what will happen okay if i want to write anything now i have reached to this uh, particular sheet and now i have to select a particular cell so how we uh, have to uh, uh, select a particular uh, cell here uh, uh, and what is a cell you can see uh, you can basically uh, to be you know uh, in, in simple terms um, a cell is basically these rectangular uh, boxes actually and each of these cell has a unique address okay so how we find the unique address or what is the unique address of these cells is uh, by uh, this uh, address is uh, denoted by two numbers one is the row number and one is the column number so these uh, uh, horizontal uh, you can say uh, these horizontal lines are called column uh, rows and uh, these vertical lines are called columns okay so the address of uh, this uh, cell will be row this first uh, number will be row and second number will be column so here this is 1 1 here it will be 2 1 okay this will be 2 2 and this will be 3 2 okay so this is how we can find the location of a cell okay so we'll be using the same concept here okay locate how to locate a cell here by using this uh, worksheet variable okay then uh, cells property and then item and then typing the address okay one one okay so i'm, I'm going to select this cell okay and i'm going to write anything here and this cell so let's see test test cell let's see what happens uh you can see that uh, it has appeared okay sometimes it happens yeah. so this is how you can write inside a cell okay or accessing a cell not accessing accessing and writing in a cell you know we can use this thing for our advantage also okay uh, for for making any tools right now uh, let us uh, Take any example which will help you in understanding the importance of this thing. Okay. Um, uh, uh, let us uh, use a PowerShell commandlet. This this will be example. So let us use a PowerShell commandlet. Uh, get service. Okay. And if you want to know the basics of PowerShell commandlet, then I also have a video. Uh, you can uh, press that uh, i button which in this will that will uh, take you to that uh, basics of powershell command line so i am be, i will be using uh, this uh, service cm delete okay and uh, this will definitely you know already know that what it is going to give you 
is going to give you this one uh, this uh, the list of all these services whether they are uh, running or stopped so uh, but I, I i i don't want this whole data i just want the service names this one is the name so i want this one okay i want an only name so uh, let us find out how we can do it so we have a uh, command that calls select object we'll be using pipeline here select object spend property and then name okay now you can see what happens that it is giving me the name even if you don't know uh, uh, why i am doing this thing uh, just don't worry i am using this thing just to demonstrate that how we can write in a uh, excel sheet okay so let me store this thing in a variable called a okay now uh, second thing uh, uh, what i am going to do that i will be using a for each loop okay so what this uh, for uh, for each loop uh, if you want to know about the for each loop uh, then uh, i'll be creating a video on for each loop okay separately for that and i'll be discussing this thing in detail so you uh, you can refer to that uh, video okay uh, on the again on the uh, you can just uh, click on the i button and it will uh, 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 take you to that uh, video okay let's try again this is for each uh dollar b okay no need to worry why i am doing this okay Let me just see what happens here so i have to write uh, this thing in the uh, in the excel sheet okay so i'll be copying this thing okay and uh, i will whatever value i have to write i have to mention that value here okay in this sense. so what i'll be mentioning dollar b here okay and what it will do is it will write the first element here uh, it will write the uh, name of the first element here but we can see that we have so many uh, names here okay so uh, we have to make it dynamic here so i want the whole of this to be printed here in this uh, first column okay so how we can do it we can just make the column number fix and we can vary the row number okay so let us make this uh, column fixed and let this uh, uh, row be uh, variable so what I'm um, I'm going to do? I'm going to use a variable, okay, uh, dollar i here, okay. And every time when the loop runs, I will increment increase the value of dollar i uh, by one, okay. So and uh, let me initialize the value of dollar i. Let us start the value uh, from one. So when the loop will run for the first time, the value here will be one one, okay. And then it will again uh, when come here the value will become two again this will become two then second time uh, again it will get updated to three so so on so every time uh, this uh, cell value will change okay the row value will change but the column value will remain same okay and all of these things will be uh, copied there so uh, let's start let's see what happens if i am going to run all of this thing so let's see you can see here that everything is uh, it has uh, wrote everything okay uh, so this is how uh, you can um, you know um, write um, in a uh, excel sheet okay so what it has done is that whatever uh, was the value whatever was there in this uh, variable it has written everything here okay so this was about how to write anything uh, in a sheet okay now uh, let us read any value okay reading a value from a cell okay all we have to do is we again have to use uh, this thing sorry on this amount of code only okay okay and then we have to mention the address uh, right now let us read this value lg okay so it, the address of this will be 4 is to 1 that is 4 1 so uh, let us write here 4 1 okay and then we have to use another property called value 2 okay why value 2 why not value this is because it is uh, it is 
property that will read the value not value okay the value uh, uh, this uh, com object does not have any uh, property called value okay so it has a property called value to which will read the values inside the cell so let's see so you can see here that it is getting this value now let us uh, use uh, let us try some more examples here uh, let us use this uh, 12 okay so you can see uh, this is 12 okay so it is giving me this uh, let us try one more um, let us uh, try this 8 okay so let us put that address here 8 okay so you can see that it is working okay so uh, this was all about the uh, automation and uh, this is uh, one of the video on how to uh, read the powershell um, sorry how to read the excel using powershell okay so uh, let me increase the size of this window okay so uh, so that you can see the code so you can refer to the code here so so this was all about the um, reading um, a value from the excel or opening a file uh, excel file which is already there in your system or writing um, a particular uh, writing anything on a particular cell okay so if you really like my work uh, please share and subscribe to my channel and uh, give a thumbs up and uh, uh, please mention in the comment whether i should uh, continue making videos of uh, like this or not and um, goodbye take care okay thanks thank you very much